What's up everybody, it's June 13th, 2016, it is the week of E3 and that means it's only time for another episode of Level Up. This is our daily video game news show where we bring you the latest and top stories from within the industry. This week is going to be slightly different, we're going to be going through all of the big five news conferences that have taken place during E3 and I'll do an extra bonus video at the end of the week as well to do a recap of the best of the rest. Today we're going to be kicking off with EA's conference that took place last night. Now officially this wasn't actually an E3 press conference because they're not at E3, they're holding their own EA Play event which took place across the street from E3 in LA and also at the same time simultaneously they were holding an EA Play conference at the Hammersmith Apollo in London. Now, it's not the best conference, but it did kick it off quite well, showing us some more Titanfall 2. We already knew the game was coming. A much-anticipated sequel from Respawn Entertainment, the guys behind Modern Warfare. We see some multiplayer. It looks really good. But what I'm showing you right now, what's really important, really, is that the game has a single player. They showed us a single player trailer, which you will be seeing right now. There is a multiplayer trailer, which you can check out as well, but I figured we'd show you a little bit of the single player. Yes, we know that it's going to be about the relationship between a Titan and a pilot. I'm not entirely sure how well it's going to go, to be honest. I'm not really sold on it, but I just like the fact that there is a single player campaign to enjoy because the gameplay mechanics in Titan 4 are really fun. So hopefully now it's coming to PS4, for the first time, more people can enjoy it. That is coming on October 28th. Moving on, they then went into Madden 2017. And rather than showing too much about Madden, they spent the whole time talking about the eSport Championship, load of different events and stuff. I'm not going to bore you with all that. They did show a little trailer, which you'll be seeing. But yeah, way too much stuff on eSports. People generally don't care about eSports that much, surely, do they? But if you're really good at Madden, you've got a chance of entering some tournament where the total prize fun bucket is going to be a million dollars, so that's pretty cool. They then showed us Mass Effect Andromeda, one of the other big, big anticipated releases from EA. We didn't get a date, we do still know it's coming Q1 2017, they showed us a new trailer. To be honest, again, a bit disappointed, they didn't really show as much Andromeda I thought they would, I thought this would have been a big focus of their conference, maybe a 10, 15, even 20 minute segment, but I think they spent less time on Andromeda than they did on eSports, which is really disappointing, but we did have a new trailer, so fans of the Mass Effect series can at least enjoy that. And hopefully, hopefully we'll learn a bit more about it towards the end of the year. They then came back to the sports titles and talked all about FIFA 17, obviously their biggest franchise. The big thing for this though, which I'm really excited for, is it's introducing this new story mode. It's called The Journey. You'll be seeing the trailer for it right here. It's going to follow an individual called Alex Hunter. And he joins a Premier League club and you can take him, rising to fame. But it, it's a real scripted story on the field, off the field. Your actions, your performances will affect how the story runs. So really trying to give you more of a, a my career mode rather than just you know creating a beer pro and then just moving up the ranks. So really excited to check that one out. Hopefully... Hopefully it will turn out well for them. But other than that, it's just more FIFA. They talked about upgrading the set pieces, the physical play was overhauled, the AI systems and new attacking techniques, all this kind of stuff. It's going to be more FIFA, but hopefully that journey, that's what I'm really, really excited about. They then moved on to probably the most exciting part of their conference called EA Originals. This is very simply like Idea Xbox, but for EA. EA, they're identifying small indie studios, giving them a chance, a platform to grow on. They did it last year with Yarni and Unravel, and this year it was another Swedish developer, this time coming on the stage and showing their game, Faye. Now, this has the cutest fox I've ever seen in a video game, hands down. Look at him right there, he looks amazing. I want, a, just like I wanted a Yarni, I want a Faye, if that's what he's going to be called. It's a narrative story, all about interaction. Really excited to find out more about that. I actually think that's my favourite game from this conference which again says a lot about the quality of the conference overall. We then had a massive, massive Star Wars segment, although at the same time they told us absolutely nothing that we didn't know already. We know Battlefront 2 is coming next year, and then after that in 2018 they then told us that's when Amy Hennig's game is coming, and we got a little snippet of early in-game footage from her game, and just those five seconds made me so, so excited. I love Amy's work on obviously the Uncharted series, could really take or leave Star Wars, but I can't wait to play this game from her. And then we also got told that the game from Respawn, and I should have wrote his name down, but the former director of God of War 3, he's working on that 
third person action game and we see some mocap with guys fighting with lightsabers so hopefully that's going to be a god of war star wars game that's going to be really cool but that's way way out probably 2019 we then ended the show with battlefield one we got another trailer for battlefield still looking just as good as it did when we saw that first reveal just over a month ago big thing they talked about here was going to be dynamic weather which is going to be taking place in the maps and the way you have to approach the maps will vary depending on whether obviously sunny day or full of rain and or fog and you can't see where you're going you're going to take control of battleships and airships are and horses it just looks really really cool they did also showcase an hour-long stream of 64 players playing the game so you can find that online and check that out they gave us a date october 21st which interestingly is only one week before titanfall which is they're cramming those games too close together i just think they're way way too close together they're sending titanfall 2 out to die this titanfall I don't think it's going to happen, but it would really benefit from being pushed to like a January or even February slot, just out of the way of Battlefield, because that's going to be a huge deal. You've got Call of Duty as well. Are people really going to want to pick up three shooters? I don't know. It's it's just a shame because with the new single player, hopefully it will come along. But yeah, Battlefield still looks awesome. So can't wait to get my hands on that in October. And that was it. So like I said, they didn't tell us, with the exception of the EA Originals and Faye, We didn't get told about any new games that we didn't already know about, which kind of makes the whole, did they even need to do a conference? We didn't learn that much. All we got was a couple of release dates, a couple of new trailers for stuff, you know, the new thing in FIFA. So overall, a pretty disappointing, lacklustre start to E3. But slight spoilers for you for coming up. It does get a lot better. I did enjoy Bethesda's a lot more. Still had some problems. And going on right now is Microsoft's conference, which I'm hearing pretty good things from. So make sure you come back to our channel over the week where we'll have more news on what's gone on at those conferences so that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed this video everyone don't forget to leave your comments down below about what you think of ea's press conference Uh, but for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next time